Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mathematics channel with really interesting and fast question. And in this video, we're going to solve this really interesting challenge. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic. I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. So we have 80 plus 80 divided by two. And what is the answer? And we don't want to use your our calculators right here let's use our super brain in our head so right here we have our challenge we have 80 plus 80 divided by 2 so what is the correct answer right here we have three options so right now i suggest you to pause the video try to solve it by yourself what do you think is a correct answer but don't use your calculator let's solve it with, with our brain in our head okay here is our challenge and one part of students solve this question like that we have 80 plus 80 divided by two. So one part of students solve this question like that. I feel like a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, let's go from left to right. So right here we have 80 plus 80 on the on the left hand side, which is equal to 160. And we have this division by two. And we have our answer, it looks like 80. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say the correct answer is option A. But I want you to understand that in math, we should know about order of operation, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, we should know about this PMDMC order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC and we will compare these two solutions. First one is 80. A lot of students solve this question like that. They go from left to right and they don't know about order of operation. But right now, let's solve this question according to PMDMC. So we have our challenge. So we have 80 plus 80 divided by two. So here's our challenge and let's go through the steps. So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and we, we should go through the steps real quick. So the first step is parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have this parentheses? In our case, we don't have any parentheses. So we just we just skip this part. We don't have any parentheses. We just skip this part. Exponents. What about exponents right here? Let's look at it. Where do we have this exponents? I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents. So we just skip this part as well. What about multiplication and division group? Let's look at it. Multiplication and division group. Let's Let's look at it. Where do we have this multiplication and division signs? Okay, right here we have addition. Yeah, right here we have division signs. So we need this expression. And I want you to understand that we don't have any multiplication, but we have we have division group right here. We have division group. And it looks like we should divide at first because right here, if you look to the last step, addition and subtraction, we have and we don't have subtraction, but we have addition, addition part. Okay, so it looks like we have only division and addition part, division and addition part. But uh, here is the main question, what we should do at first, we should add or divide. If you look closely to this PMDMC, we have division before addition. So it's a very important part because we should divide, we should do all the things with our division, and then we should add or subtract, or with multiplication, the same thing, multiplication at first, and then addition and subtraction. So let's do this. So right here we have 80, 80, plus 80 divided by 2 equal to equal to 40. So equal to 120. And what really interesting moment, because we solved it according to PMDMC, but very tricky moment right here. If you look closely to the option, we have 80, 40, and 5 factorial. We don't have this option 120. So a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer. They say, okay, 120, but we don't have this option. So then they go back to this answer 80, which is absolutely wrong because we can't uh, start with, with addition. This is very big mistake. With parentheses, it will be okay because we, we should start from these parentheses. But in our case, we don't have any parentheses, so 80 is absolutely wrong answer to our question. With parentheses, okay, because parentheses is the first step and addition in parentheses is our first step. So addition, then addition will be before division because addition is in parentheses. So I hope you understand why 80, why 80 is absolutely wrong solution, why 40 is absolutely wrong solution. But what about this 5 factorial, very tricky moment? Because right here, 5 factorial, we know that 5 factorial equal to a product from 1 to... 1 to 5. So we have 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 and times 5, which is equal to, let's look at it. So right here we have 2 times 3, we have 6. 6 times 4, 24. And 24 times 5, we have 120. So this 5 factorial, this is the same as 120. So we can easily write our answer. So our answer, 
Our answer, our correct answer is option C. According to this challenge, our correct answer is 120, but according to this test, our correct answer is option C. So we hope you understand my explanation. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Of course, you can write your question into the comment section. If you don't understand my explanation, of, of, of course, write how you solve it in your country, because a lot of orders of operation, board mass, print DMC. So this is up to you what order of operation you select. I select board mass and I solve this like that. So this is my explanation. So I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.